Hey guys, welcome- Whoa! <laughs> hey guys, welcome back, this is Storm, and welcome to episode 138 of my single player Tivina world. Hope you guys are going awesomely well. How you going buddy? You still growling? Still unhappy? One day I'll make you happy. Don't know how, but I will make you happy. Alrighty, so I wanted to show you guys this area here. It's been on my to-do list for a while to add some extra details into the walls, and I think it's turned out okay. I'm not exactly convinced that the lighting positions here, or the, the source of the lighting here, is a great choice. It kind of stands out a little bit against the stone, so I might switch that out for a different solution in the future. So maybe you use some sea pickles or something when updated aquatic lands. So something to consider. And then also down here, this is an area that I've worked on as well. Wanted to keep with the same kind of uh, tunnel theme or cave theme, staying with all the stone variants. And just adding in a small amount of colour here and there, so just using some flower pots with some dark oak saplings. Uh, I think that's making this area look quite nice. And then the biggest change is probably down here. This is where I've removed all the torches from the walls and put in some slabs. So we shouldn't have mobs that can spawn in here anymore. And the uh, I guess the overall look now makes this seem quite dark and mysterious, which is pretty cool. And then uh, if you want to jump down, where we've got this cross here made out of sea lanterns, I think that's a nice touch. Then you can access the traditional rooms that we've got down here. I haven't worked on any other area down here yet, but uh, yeah, I wanted to work on an area like this because it's been on my to-do list and I've seen a few suggestions in the past about working on my tunnel systems. So there we go. We've started to make some decent progress. So another area of my world I've been working on in between episodes is the pathway right up in here. Made a few modifications, I've extended it further in this direction and also made this area a little bit wider in parts. Probably a bit hard to notice, but I did move a few of these bushes over a little bit, just so it's a little bit wider and uh, feels a little bit roomier as you come down towards this chicken shop, then follow the path down towards the sailing ship area. And uh, having this path continue on in this direction, using the same theme for this pathway, I think it really um, looks good, kind of suits this area, I think. And I've got a little branch off here that will probably go to a building that we'll create here. Maybe it's a house or maybe some other kind of structure. I think you'll get a decent view right here, looking over the ocean and the sailing ship down there. So I'll probably build something right there. I'm keen to see your suggestions of what I should build here. It'll probably wait for update aquatic so I can use the new building materials. And then I've got the path going on in this direction a little bit further as well. I'll keep extending this out. Not exactly sure where we'll go. Um, but eventually this path will probably connect up with the main path we have right up on that hill there. Um, that kind of where that tree is basically so the, the path goes where those two trees are So having this zigzag around and then go in that direction could be pretty interesting So that's to come and there is one other section of this path that I have made a few modifications So let's follow this path in this direction. I have made I think a few changes along the edges here as well, but Again, you probably wouldn't notice those but coming down here. You might notice. Oh, what are this over here? We've got some uh, some birch fences here. So I've made a little branch off the path here that goes onto the beach. I think this is a nice little transition. And I'm uh, using some of these uh, birch fences. I think it's a nice touch to try and make it look like it's still a bit of structure. And I'm going to have this bend around and then we're going to build a bridge right over this little waterway that we created in the last episode. And then I'm going to extend this pathway, uh, pathway all the way around towards this luxurious house. It's an area that I don't visit too often, it'll be nice having a more modern path to get there, particularly along the shoreline here. And then we could maybe even make this some kind of more upmarket district of the island, so a few more of these kind of homes could be built around here, and uh, that could be an interesting look. So, I've got all my supplies now ready to go, so let's start on this bridge process. So I'm going to probably have the bridge middle part be uh, two blocks wide and then a ledge on either side. So let's remove a couple of blocks here. I'm going to have to terraform a little bit, then uh, try and make this all look nice towards the end. So if this is going to be the middle, uh, do we want to use stairs to go up a level? Maybe. Let's just try a few things and then I can change it out doesn't look okay. So I think I'm going to go for a mixture of using, what are these ones? These are the smooth sandstone and then the chiseled. So I'll probably use chiseled at this level. So if I were to put chiseled here and smooth on top, 
something like that. And then if we were to jump down and let's actually try, we want to use upside down stairs or not. Whoops, <laughs> definitely not that one. I did bring over some um, birch wood stairs or planks. I'm not sure what I brought over, but I, brought, I do have uh, birch wood on me in case I want to try something out. So is that far enough out here? I do have to think about being too close right on this edge. So that could be a little bit strange. For now, we'll just... How high does this have to be? Kind of at this height level. Alright, well... Of course I put down the wrong block. I think we'll just try and get the outline sorted and then we'll work on the details later. So... At this height... Something like that. Then we'll need some stairs going up. I'm not going to worry about lighting at the moment. I think that's something... We could probably try and hide a few different light sources. Rather than being them on the bridge itself, we could probably put the light sources elsewhere. Kind of like here, where I've got a um, redstone lamp underneath this chest at the moment. I can get rid of this. How does that look? The blend in. Then we could probably put down some of these fences on the sides. That was weird. <laughs> Am I flying or s swimming? It's hard to tell. Okay, let's see if I can place this. Whoa! Alright, well that was unexpected. There we go. Get rid of that one. And we just need one more here. Like that. What do we think? Does that look okay? So I think we still need to add in a little bit more detail, so let's add in a potted plant right there using the birch sapling. I think that's a nice look for the beach area. I don't really use this in flower pots, but I think on a beach layout like this it kind of works. And I've also got some sugar cane on me. I was thinking we could plant some around here. In fact, maybe we can have this one three blocks tall. And this one two blocks, and then leave this as one, just to see what this looks like. And then what I'm going to do is just put string on top of the... Yeah, I think something like that looks good. Just put string on top of the sugar cane where you don't want it to grow any further. So that's a little trick if you don't know about that one. So that will keep these working at these heights. They won't ever grow. I think that looks good. Then from this side, what do we think? We need to switch out these blocks. And I'm going to have to remove this chest. But, <laughs> oh, okay. Just because you all want to see this spill everywhere. There you go. <laughs> I'll have to move all this stuff over. And um, then I'm just going to terraform this area a little bit. And try and make this pathway blend a little bit better towards this bridge. So after a little bit of terraforming, we have this area reasonably complete. Really happy the way that it's turned out. We don't have to remove too many blocks actually to try and make this all fit in. And we've got some hidden lighting underneath some of these shrubs as usual. So this area should be quite well lit up at night time, so that should be good. I did bring over some end blocks though. I wanted to see would these look okay in the sand. Is this going to look too weird? I were to mix in some of these kind of blocks. What do you think? Can I pull that off? Or is that going to look too strange? So more time has passed and I've worked on this pathway. You can see that it's uh, all done. So I spent a bit of time trying to get the shape right. Didn't want it to be just a perfect kind of path. I wanted to have a little bit of imperfections as we come around and try and make it look a little bit more organic. And I've even ventured into using the end stone throughout the whole path here. So let's take a look. I think when I first showed you guys, <laughs> it looked a little bit strange and it probably still does look a little bit strange. But I wanted to try it out anyway, so I've put in more of this, mixing it in using the sand, the sandstone, and then mixing in some of these just endstone and endstone bricks. And I actually think it's growing on me. I think it's potentially okay. I mean, it still does stand out. It's definitely noticeable, and it is a little bit strange, but I think it's okay. I think it actually kind of works. And uh, as for this pathway, now as it's getting nighttime here, you should see that this is all nicely lit up. And there's no visible torches, which is awesome as well. So I've got hidden lighting throughout this whole area. Sorry, I was just 
saying if I can see the fireworks that go off up there. But I just missed them. And uh, yeah, so hidden lighting all around the edges, just underneath the shrubs, underneath the chests. And uh, yeah, that's about it. This is um, looking good, I think. It's going to flow around into the balcony area. Would you call this a balcony? Maybe this is a um, just a deck. Maybe you call it a deck. But I think this area looks good. Really happy, actually, the way this turned out. It's um, better than I was expecting, actually. It kind of gives a bit of a beach vibe, I think. Definitely something that's a little bit more upmarket for a path design. And uh, I might even continue this around the other side of this house. So that's something I might consider in the future. So for a change of pace, we're going to go and do some enchanting. I've got these levels. And rather than let them go to waste, I'm just going to do a random set of enchantments and then let's just see what we get. I don't really have Sweeping Edge or Frostwalker anywhere in my world on any tools or equipment. So it'd be interesting if I can get some of those in my enchants. But um, I can only do a few enchants, but let's just see what we can get. So not a bad set of enchantments. We've got two Sweeping Edge and uh, these are just the basic kind of equipment. Do I have a looting three? No, I've got a looting two. Everything else is pretty stock standard, nothing really fancy there, but these two I'm pretty interested in, these um, sweeping edge. Now I'm going to guess though that I cannot put it on any of my swords. Let's see what this does. Yeah, <laughs> too expensive, hey? So uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to eventually create a sword that's got sweeping edge on it. I presume you can put all these enchants plus sweeping edge at the same time. Maybe it's the order you gotta put it on to, to be able to do that. So that is something that I'll experiment with, but um, yeah, half decent. Whoa! -oh. Really? With all that armor? It almost killed me. <laughs> that was crazy. Alright, let's just ignore that ever happened. We can both do this flaming game. <laughs> So, I've just come over to this arena, I wanted to show you guys what the exterior looks like with most of the walls complete. Still got a little bit of scaffolding that I need to clean up, but besides that, it's uh, pretty much done. Pretty happy the way that it's turned out. On the outside here, I have uh, also terraformed this area a little bit, so it now connects up to the side of the arena before you could walk all the way around at this level. And it had a weird, weird kind of gap there, so I've tried to make it look a little bit more natural with this going right up next to it. And uh, for two reasons. One, I guess we need a sneaky way for the peasants to be able to jump in and enjoy the show without paying for a ticket. So this is one way to do it because now you can just jump in from the cliff side here. Um, I think that's okay. I don't mind that. So that's one way to get in and enjoy the show. But uh, another reason why I did it. Let's go in the inside here. Oh, by the way, I did put all the end rods now up the top here to light up this uh, top ring of the arena. I think it looks good. But over here, this gateway, I've uh, opened it up. So before we had fences going all the way down, just like these other ones over here. Uh, but having this uh, this wall terraform, so it's connecting with the arena, I've now got this direct access into the side of this mountain here. So we could probably put something back here. So yeah, a few ideas are juicing up about that. I wish we had a spawner nearby, but I don't think we do. But uh, maybe we could do something. So yeah, besides that, everything else is pretty much done. Looking forward to perhaps switching out a few blocks when we go to up, uh, update Aquatic. But other than that, I was thinking we could change this area a little bit. What if we were to put in a door here? And um, if we're going to have a door to kind of access this mountain area, I kind of need to change this walkway here as well. So let's get on with making this walkway a little bit different. Um, what Actually, did I ever show you guys this? I can't remember if I did or didn't. <laughs> I've basically worked on this inside walkway and there's also an underground section where you can actually, how am I going to get out of here now? But uh, yeah, that you can go all the way around underneath the arena. So that's interesting. Let's just sneak our way through here. So what I'm going to do is just connect up this walkway at this height level. So for now, we'll just use a, just a continuous block across, then we'll add some variation. So let's just get rid of these. And I won't need these at this level. We can probably just seal this right up, actually. So that, oh, of course I can't get out. So let's go this way. Yay. All right. So let's do the same on this other side. In fact, let's walk up the top. Let's, let's replace these blocks. 
game will just go straight across. We'll mix in all these different blocks later. Get rid of these. I can probably yeah, get rid of that block as well. Not a bad height level actually to come across at this height. Over here. Mix in a few more different variations. Alright. What does this look like? Maybe switch out this one. Doesn't look too bad. Sometimes it's just the little details. Okay, can I... Yeah, maybe I just gotta do that. Have to look, see what it looks like underneath. But for now that's okay, we can come across here. Now I was thinking uh, we could leave this as being a fence, but maybe back here. Let's change this out. Let's remove these as being fences. Um, for the key reason that... Let's create an actual doorway here that we can open and close. Now well, let's use redstone for that, but to do it with a fence, you can absolutely do it. But you need more space to build in. Because of the, the way this mountain is situated, you can't really uh, just add a lot of redstone to the top area there to move up and down fences. So instead what we'll do, I think we'll create a concrete powder door. So I've crafted myself here some black concrete powder. And the idea would be is that we could have this come across like this. And we can create an actual doorway out of this so we can open and close uh, the concrete powder. So that will give us direct access into the side of the mountain here. And we could probably just put some kind of filler block above. Maybe just using the black concrete itself. So I'm going to work on that redstone. And then let's see if we can create ourselves a, a nifty door here. What do you think? Pretty good, hey? <laughs> so I thought rather than just come up with my own design, let's take a look and see what others have created. So this is a contraption that I just found searching on YouTube. It's a very nifty design. I'll leave a video link in the description if you want to check out how to build this. But you can see the opening and closing animation is pretty fast. And it looks pretty good. So I think having black concrete will look nice, particularly when you step back a little bit. You probably won't even notice it in that it's a concrete powder and not a solid block or a non-gravity non block. So what we could do is just put black concrete on top here. Let's take a look at that. And I'm not sure if I'm going to put concrete on top of that again or concrete powder. What do you think? Maybe concrete powder could be a good look. Let's take a look at... Oh, how am I going to get up there? All right, let's just cheat a little bit for now. Uh, we'll just go up this way. I can jump. And one more. Alrighty, so if we put in concrete powder here, what will this look like? For one, the walkway should be... I think it'll be alright. We could add a window or something here, but I kind of like the feeling that we can create this all sealed off so you don't actually see anything in there. It'd be a bit of a, <laughs> bit of a mystery as you're walking past here, so you can just walk along, see what's going on in the arena, check that out. I could probably even add a few more dirt blocks here to make this blend in a little bit. And then when you want to come down, let's just sneak... Oops, of course I can't get through there, but I can through here. Uh, then you can come down and check it out. Hey, that's pretty cool. And uh, I might even hook this up to perhaps the daylight sensor. So this can open up either at night time or during the day. And if we were to close this area off and then make it all nice and dark, we could probably even get some mobs that can spawn in here. And then by opening this up, you could see the mobs potentially just come in towards the player. So that's uh, a few ideas that I could experiment with. And uh, yeah, I think that looks pretty good. I'm just putting some finishing touches to the exterior part of this doorway, making it look a little bit nicer. I've uh, worked on the transition here, so we've got some uh, nicer looks for how the dirt kind of blends down into this pathway, making this look all nice and dark in here as well, which I think is okay. And where is that grumpy man? There you are. I've heard you this whole time. <laughs> You've been stalking me, but um, actually, can we do this? I jump up here and then fly our way in. I also had to uh, tidy up this top area. I think it looks a lot nicer the way it looks now. Before I had a, like, a little strange kind of transition into the mountain, but I think like this looks a lot better. Now let's see if we can time this. Can uh, Yeah, that'll do. <laughs> Wasn't pretty, but we made it. So it looks a little bit nicer now. It's all tidied up. Let's uh, open this one more time. If I can click the button. There we go. Uh, these corner bits look nice and neat. Uh, 
think it looks good. And then as for this uh, bottom uh, corridor area where we walk across, I've had to make a small change here because we could see the exposed redstone. So I've moved this path over one block. So before the path was over here, so moved it over here. I'll probably put something along here, maybe some chests or who knows, just put something here. We've got this nice kind of display area here now because this is part of the door. Um, but it transitions into these corridors quite nicely and I think the overall look is uh, pretty cool. I've got this spot here, I'm not sure what I'll put there, maybe a chest or something. But uh, besides that, I think this area is pretty well coming along uh, rather nicely. I do want to experiment with the newer blocks when I bet it comes along, so I'll probably do that at some point. And uh, yeah, I was talking about making this kind of a dark area, I still probably will do that. I think that could be a pretty cool effect. But I do want to ask you guys a question, because with this area, it's really all pristine at the moment. It's There's nothing really run down or... I don't know, it's just a, probably a more polished build that I have, where if you look at the theme across a lot of my other buildings, in one way or another, it's kind of partly run down. So should I do the same with this arena? So that's a question for you guys. Please let me know in the comments. What do you think? Should I build this... Make a little, little bit more run down, perhaps switch out a few of these blocks with, you know, the different kind of cobble and maybe the, um, whatever it is, whatever the other cobble one. <laughs> Can't even think, yeah, there we go, cracked stone brick. That's the thing I was thinking of. Maybe mix in some of those, maybe even put a tree growing out through the side of one of these things. There's a whole lot of things I could do to make this look uh, run down. Or do you think I should leave it like this? Because, yeah, I don't really have too many builds which are more polished in the, in the theme. So, a few ideas. Let me know what you guys think, though, and then I'll consider that in a future episode. I'm going to leave the episode here. This is probably dragging on a little bit. So, <laughs> I'll let you guys go. Stay awesome, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.